okay, identifying negative ions. We have discussed the solubilities, and I told you that that's the most important things that you need to know in these chapters. Uh, most of the questions in this chapter is related to the solubility, yeah? so make sure that you still remember that. Okay, identifying ion or identifications of ions. There are 10 cations. Cation is the positive ions, huh? and 4 anions. Anions are the negative ions huh? uh, to be studied in our syllabus, uh, the SBM syllabus. And these are the 10 cations that you need to know. Okay, 10 cations that you need to know. Okay, sodium, Na positive, calcium, Ca2 positive, magnesium, Mg2 positive, aluminium, Al3 positive, zinc, Zn2 positive, iron2, Fe2 positive, uh, iron3, Fe3 positive, Lead, Pb2 positive, copper 2, Cu2 positive, and ammonium, NH4 positive. So these are the symbol eh, for the positive ions. Okay. For the negative ions, chloride, Cl negative, sulfate, SO4, 2 negative, nitrate, NO3, uh, carbonate, CO3 to negative. Okay, so this is the answer. Qualitative analysis means we try to identify uh, the elements or the ions in a substance, okay, in a chemical substance. Eh? Okay, uh, you don't need to memorize these steps, you don't need to memorize, okay. <clears throat> this one just a reference on here. First, we examine the physical, uh, physical state. Okay, physical state, uh, not physical quantity, okay, physical state, physical state of the physical quantity, no, physical state, uh, physical state of the salt, uh, for example, whether it's a solid liquid or a gas, okay, uh, it's solubilities, it's colors, okay, and uh, the second step is uh, uh, heat the salt to collect the gas, okay, so heat test, uh, this is called a heat test, okay, heat the salt and collect the gas, uh, this is the second step. Okay, after that, uh, we do the an ion and cation test. Okay, an ion and cation test means the negative and the positive ion test. And today we are going to discuss the an ion test first. Eh? Okay, the an ion test. Uh, next week we will discuss the cation test. And uh, the last one is the confirmation test. Okay, let's say we. We believe that there is an iron 2 in the substance, then we do the confirmation test uh, for the iron 2, okay, to confirm the presence of the ions. So these are the steps in a qualitative analysis. Now for the physical states, first we examine, okay, we examine whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas. If it's solid, then most probably is ionic compound, because ionic compound has high melting point, yeah? has high melting point and therefore at room temperature usually it exists as solid. If it's liquid or gas then most probably is a covalent compound, okay? And if it's aqueous solution then uh, most probably is soluble salt. Uh, and normally uh, salts are in crystal form, okay? In crystal form and metal oxide and metal sulfide are in powder form. So you see whether it's a crystal or a powder, okay? If it's crystal form then usually it's salts, eh? okay? If it's powder form, then usually it's uh, oxide or uh, metal sulfide. So that is uh, to examine the physical state. 